this is most likely going to be the final update on the aquaponics um, I've been having issues with it because I haven't been here to take care of it uh, things are kind of a mess again I had everything cleaned up now I've got PVC everywhere uh, mint in the container is still doing great uh, I need to go through it and pull out some of the dead stuff but the rest of it's looking really good and I just this is just regular mint I don't even know if it has a name it's not spearmint it's not peppermint it's just mint uh, it's the kind that's used a lot in Syrian co style cooking uh, and I love this stuff um, but if you plant it in the soil it just takes over it goes anywhere and everywhere and then it's actually a little hard to get rid of if you decide to get rid of it so it's always best to plant it in a container uh, kind of like horseradish if you plant it in the ground it'll go all over the place if you keep it in a container you keep it controlled uh, the tube system even though right now there's nothing in it a uh, previous video showed how much of a success it was uh, like I said with the issues I've been having water flow issues and everything else you can see that this uh, ruby red Swiss chart on the end is kind of dying down that bok choy over there is all eaten up the strawberries are still doing just fine then this first bed, it was way too hot for broccoli. Uh, I did plant a couple of pickling cucumbers, excuse me, in there, and they're just now starting to climb the fence. I mean, that one's probably about a foot and a half tall. The other one's only about six inches tall over there. But the caterpillars got a hold of the uh, broccoli anyway, and, and the cabbage that was in there just because I wasn't here to pay attention to it. Uh, most of the stuff in this bed just died. I lost a lot of the radishes that I'd put in here uh, with that really really bad rainstorm we had uh, we had like 15 inches in a day and it just it washed everything out and I think it had an effect on my bacteria levels as well and a lot of the plants kind of stunned, stunted down and suffered for it like I said the radishes just kind of disappeared a lot of them did uh, of course it is possible insects or birds got to them like I said I've had a lot going on uh, the bell peppers are were slowly starting to come along. They're looking a little bit better now. One of them died. Uh, the squash, the beautiful butternut squash that was everywhere, I think due to the water flow issues, because I came out one day and nothing was happening. Everything was wilting and looking dead, and there was just no water in the system. Uh, it had run low, and I hadn't checked it in several days. For all I know, it had been down for a day or two. So I got the water going again, just added water, uh, but I don't think the butternut's going to make it. I've got a couple squash that are still ripening that one. Uh, there's a little one up there that's starting to ripen, and there's another big one on the other side. Uh, the kohlrabi, actually, I probably let go too long. I probably should have went ahead and pulled it. Its leaves are kind of eating up, uh, just because I haven't bothered spraying anything. I need to, though before it gets in the tomatoes because the tomatoes are still loaded down and tomatoes are amazing plants they can come back from a lot I need to get them tied up a little bit better uh, and see what I can do towards keeping the bugs out of them I need to spray them down um, but you can see a lot of dead down inside the tomatoes from where they ran out of water uh, and started uh, self pruning in order to be able to conserve resources uh, which is why tomato plants are kind of amazing plants. They will survive if there's any way for them to do so. So the tomatoes are looking good. Uh, if we can spray them and keep the insects out of them, which part of the reason I haven't done anything with the kohlrabi and stuff is the insects at least have been sticking to that stuff instead of getting into the tomatoes. But these are just, I mean, loaded down with tomatoes. You see them all through it. Uh, there, there, there. I mean, they're all over the place in there beautiful beautiful tomatoes so I definitely need to try to salvage these and I have no idea what this is that looks like a grapevine almost I'm wondering if I left some stem from the grapes in there or enough root for one of the grapes to come back I have to wait and see what that does if I'm here uh, the in-ground stuff, the bed that had the spinach and the little bit of Swiss chard in it, the small bed I've just left alone. Uh, it's still got some Swiss chard in it. Most of the spinach died. Uh, this bed, right after I planted the turnips and the mustard greens, it got washed out really bad. Amazingly, some of the, uh, this turnip's trying to come back. There's a mustard green there, another mustard there. 
but I haven't been fertilizing or doing anything. So, and since most of the so soil got washed away and it's mainly bark, they're probably not getting much nutrients. The peas, on the other hand, the sugar snap peas over there are doing quite well. Uh, they're hanging in there, even though we haven't really been watering this bed very much. Most of the corn uh, is trying. Uh, again, I haven't really been fertilizing, so the navy beans on this side aren't doing a whole lot, although they are there. Um, just nothing's been being weeded, and it hadn't really been being watered the best in the world, uh, which I don't care anymore. It's not my yard. Not my yard. i got to keep reminding myself, not my yard. Uh, the navy beans that were planted over here in this row came up really well. I've got a volunteer bean right there. Could be a navy, could be whatever was planted in that row over there because when everything washed out, I mean, I just spread, you know, four to six inches wood chips between all these rows and everything got washed down to here against the runner for the greenhouse. Uh, and you can just see how the wood chips are kind of piled up down there. And it just washed everything out. Anything that I'd planted seeds, kiss it goodbye, well, gone. Uh, some of the stuff that I hadn't plugged survived. Not much of it did. Uh, so I've got the navy beans here. I've got, I think these are pintos here. Uh, pinto, there should have been a pinto in that row. That's a pinto. A couple of my chickpeas survived down there. A couple of the squash that I had in plugs are coming up. The okra actually started coming up. Uh, the sweet potatoes, of course, were seedlings when I planted them. The acorn squash got washed out. Um, the kidney beans got washed out. And most of this is washed out. I mean, it's kind of almost a waste to water it right now because there's nothing there. It really just needs to be, most of it, tilled back under uh, and re, you know, more amendments added to the soil and replanted. Because uh, you can still plant, you know, summer squash, or well squash any summer plants uh, bell peppers tomatoes cucumbers squash uh, would do just fine uh, let's see if we can get inside the greenhouse here and you about to see what i was talking about about the mint uh, see that big beautiful butternut squash that probably won't ripen properly i mean some of the plants still alive i mean like this right here uh it's got well, that one's not going to make it. It's got a rot spot on it. I don't know what causes that, if it's insects or what. But um, it probably has its own roots in one of these other beds because these things sent down roots into the other beds. So, but these two are still okay. I need to go ahead and pull them and do something with them. I just a little while ago took some suckers off the tomato plants and put them in this bed, which is where the butternut was. And you can see all the brown stems and and everything else where it's dying back, although there's still some greenery. Uh, this is cucumber, that squash, that squash over there. So, uh, and this cucumber's old. I doubt we'll get very many cucumbers off of it that are worthwhile. Uh, I hate that about the butternut though, because it was just starting to actually produce. Like I said, the bell peppers are doing fine. The radishes I'm just giving up on because that's what they wound up doing. It, I guess they just weren't getting enough nutrients uh, and they didn't uh, form the way they should have. As far as I'm concerned, this bed and that bed are pretty much done for other than possibly the pickling cucumbers. Everything in these can be pulled up. So the fish are doing fine. Um, the other in-ground stuff, the, the uh, onions, you can see how tall some of them are above ground uh, from being washed out, but they're still doing fine. I could probably scatter some loose soil in there to help them out a little bit, but they should be all right. It's mainly the reds that are exposed. Uh, green onions are great. I've been pulling a couple every now and then, chopping them up, putting them in my eggs. Uh, the leeks, a lot of the soil washed away right after I had buried them up to about six, uh, seven inches. So I'm not even sure how deeply they're buried anymore, but they're still progressing along. Uh, the carrots, for the most part, are just about ready for harvest. Uh, the squash, the uh, yellow crookneck that was in these two rows managed to survive the washout, and as you can see, it's flowering. Uh, this row was going to be for more yellow squash, but it, the seeds got washed out. And then I have zucchini, 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 and that was supposed to be a zucchini over there, but it died after the washout. Those navy beans I never got around to planting. Uh, and I've got some bell pepper, banana pepper, and uh, 
cantaloupe that I never got around to planting just because things changed. And as you can see what I was talking about about the mint, this started out as a few sprigs of mint along the side inside the greenhouse. As you can see there's mint coming up out in the grass out there if you can see that well enough to tell what it is. Um, and we pulled it up. It's been cut down by the lawnmower a couple times. The mint has spread all along this edge here. It's come out into this row where these uh, blackberries are that my brother-in-law said he wanted, which is why they're still there. Uh, and that's it for the garden. 